Hello and welcome to the series on Apache Kafka with Azukipa. This is the series where we cover how you can run the setup on just Docker without using virtual machines or Kubernetes like we did in the first tutorial that I created on how to run Kafka with Azukipa. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to be running a Kafka cluster uh, with Zookeeper and without Zookeeper only on Docker using Docker Compose. I'm going to be using Kafka 2.8.0 and I will demonstrate how you can actually run that. In the first video, if you have not seen it yet, I covered the foundational items. And in this particular video, we're going to actually be running the cluster and seeing how it works. So like I said earlier, we covered the foundational items where I covered the internals and the inner workings of the architecture. I also demonstrated how you can build the Docker images and we covered the three different cluster sizes that we have. Uh, the first one is running it in legacy mode with Zookeeper, where we covered how you can run uh, the three node cluster with Zookeeper. And then in the other example, we covered um, how you can run it with um, without Zookeeper and then you run a single node instance without Zookeeper and then as well as a multi-node instance without Zookeeper with all the different components that have to do with the setup. So in this particular tutorial, I'm going to cover and show you how to run it in legacy mode using Docker Compose with the images we have built in the previous example. And then we're going to also run it in craft mode either as, as a single node or as a multi-node uh, setup. So let's get started with that and see how uh, this works. Again, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please feel free to subscribe and hit, hit the notification icon so that when I have new content, you will be notified and you can check it out if you are interested. I'm also available on Instagram, Twitter and GitHub where you can check out my code samples and some of the things I have to, to share regarding Kafka and other big data technologies. I also have a course that has to do with how to process data using open source software. So the link to that will be in the description of this video and you can check it out uh, if you're interested in that. So let's get started with the content uh, for this particular tutorial. If you want to check out the GitHub repository and if you have not downloaded it yet, you can visit this link and the instructions are available on that page on how you can clone the repository uh, to get started. Now, the next thing is running it in legacy mode. So let's let's get started with how we're going to be able to do that. So to run it in legacy mode, this is the Docker Compose file that we're going to run. This is going to create a Zookeeper node and it is also going to create a debugger as well as three uh, broker nodes. So let me get started uh, with that. Uh, I already have it running here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to actually stop it and then I will run it uh, for you to see how it is done. Uh, the commands to do that are available on this particular page. So if we want to run it in um, legacy mode, what we need to do is we need to navigate to the folder, to the compose legacy folder, and then do a Docker compose up. And that is all you have to do. And that would put up uh, all, the, all those different um, nodes for you and then uh, to shut it down and clean it uh, properly all you have to do is uh, run this other command so let me just make sure that everything is fully cleaned up so if you are in the if you are in the home directory in the root folder for kafka in a box uh, what you have to do is you need to navigate to the compose folder and once you are inside that folder, you will get into the legacy folder. So once we are in the folder, if we take a look at the beginning, the beginning of the file, I have the instructions for how to run it. So Docker Compose up will run it, and Docker Compose down will shut everything down. So uh, if you if you copy this command here, Docker Compose up, that should allow you to run the cluster. So it boots up Zookeeper and then it boots up the three brokers and in a few minutes we are ready to go so that's it everything is all set and it's running now um, the next thing we can do 
is uh, if we do a Docker PS, you're going to see that we have all those different containers running. So we can actually log into uh, broker number two. So if we do a Docker exec and then we run it in interactive mode and then we try to access the bash command, that should allow us to get into this particular uh, node and then we can run all these commands that we have here to check things out. So you can, uh, you can um, create topics, you can pretty much perform all the other commands you know we typically have to do so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and 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 run this so if we go into the bin folder we should be able to run this command right now we should not have anything so that should be empty but if we copy this command to create this particular topic then we should have something to demonstrate so we have created that. Now, if we run the list command again, we see that that particular topic has been created. So in this particular scenario here, we have, we have um, multiple nodes running. So let's do that again. So we have three nodes running, and then we have the debugger that I can use so I can be inter inside the network, and then I have ZooKeeper running. And that's it for running it in legacy mode. Now let's take a look at how we can run it in, let's take a look at how we can run it in craft mode, meaning without ZooKeeper. So to do that, all we have to do is to head back to this section where we navigate into the compose craft folder. So I am gonna do that once this is uh, fully stopped. All right, so let's clean up everything and remove any offense that we have running. Okay, so now we're in the legacy folder. So the next thing now is I'm gonna go inside the craft folder. I have two Docker Compose files. The first one is running it in single node instance, and then the other one is gonna be the multi-node instance. So if we, if we go ahead and do this, what this will do will, will be to boot up the, the cluster and run that single node instance for us. So let's take a look at that. So now we have the single node running. All right, now the cluster is prepared for us to proceed. So let's, um, let's do a Docker PS again. And in here we have only one node. So for us to log in, we can follow the same strategy we had earlier where we execute the bin bash command on that node and once once we are logged in we can go to the bin folder and pretty much repeat all the other steps that we had earlier where we can we can create a, a, a topic and we can navigate so if we want to create the topic we can come here again and we can we can create the topic with a repetition factor of one. And then we can also list the topics to see what's happening. So if we do a list, it should list what we have. All right. Now, uh, in the first example, we created with a replication factor of three. If you want to create a different um, topic, let's say CD population two, with a replication factor of two, we should see that we should not be able to do that because we don't have enough uh, brokers to support that. So this says that we're not able to create because we have only one usable broker. So that concludes a demonstration for running in craft mode with just one node. So now I'm going to shut this down and then I'm going to run it in multi nodes um, using the setup that I described in the other video and we would show you how to run with three controllers and then we'll also run it with three brokers. So that is what I'm doing next. So I'm going to shut this down and then do the cleanup and then we're going to run it um, with the multi-node setup.
so let's get started with that as soon as this is fully done so now i am going to clean up and remove any offense so if we do a docker ps we don't have anything else the next thing now is to run this multi-node setup so to do that i have this script here that will load the environment variables and then also specify the docker compose file that i'm using so i am in this folder and we're gonna run this so this is gonna boot up um the all, all, all the different nodes the the four nodes that we have which will provide us with the uh, three three brokers as well as the three controllers the controllers is where you keep the metadata for the topics and also all, all, all the other information and then we have the brokers that actually store the topic data so it looks like our cluster is up and running if we come over to this other tab we can do a docker ps again and we can see that we have four containers running um, the first container is providing us with information i mean um, it's providing us when we look at this the first container is going to be running as a controller only and then the second one is going to be running as a broker the third one is going to be running in combined mode so we have all this defined and now we can actually get into we're gonna actually get into the cluster so again um, um, if we take a look at this we can um, we can um, get into node number two so docker exec and then it node two i mean node two and then we can execute the bin bash command on that so now we are inside and then we can pretty much run the same commands we did uh, with the other one so the first one i want to do is to create a topic so if i come here and i run this city population command again inside the pin folder this is what you're gonna see so that is created successfully now if i try to do something with a replication factor of five I should not be able to do that because I do not have five brokers. So this is going to fail because we have only three usable brokers. So that's pretty much it. Um, we are doing the same thing, the same commands and the same use cases we had uh, in the other tutorial, except that now we're running it just on, on Docker. So if you're interested in getting started with this, simply head out to my GitHub uh, rep uh, um, repo and you should be able to see the Kafka in a box um, repository. And then you can check out all the different things that I have, the four Docker files and the compose scripts that you can use to run it. Uh, if you're also interested in understanding the inner workings of how I am able to parse the environment variables um, and how also how I'm setting up the entry points in the container, you can check out the scripts folder and that has all the default um, scripts that I'm using inside this. So that's pretty much everything I had to cover in this particular uh, tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. And then, uh, like I said, we cover the foundational items. And then in this particular tutorial, what we were interested in doing was showing you how to run it in legacy mode with Zookeeper on Docker, and then how to run it with craft mode uh, on Docker as well. So. Please subscribe to the channel if you think that this content was helpful. Also share with share with other people that you think would benefit from having similar content. Uh, again, I have a course that has to do with using open source software to process and analyze data. If you're interested in that content, it will be in the description of this particular video and you can check it out if you're interested. Also follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you know, if you like to see the content that I have uh, to share with you. So thank you for your time today. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.